Ricardin. Hi. Um. Kozo wa. Ah, akaranai. Ikanai. Ikanai. Ikanai boro. Ika. Kita. Kita nai. Boro. Buku o. Kite iru kara. So. Kozo. Doro. No. Bukoji. Buroji. Ni. Shika. Mienai. The boy. Um, wears after ah uh, because because the boy is wearing uh clothes that are uh dirty and uh worn boro is worn out uh koso doro no furoji ni shika mianai I see, I can see nothing except a wandering, a homeless a child that is a sneaky thief. Perfect. Ma, chitsai tso na no da ga, uchi no me shikskai ga son na. Kako de is kako kako. Kako is like your whole assemble, your outfit, the kitanai borofuku. Right, so the whole outfit, komaru, is uh, endure. Close. It's to be troubled by. Trouble. So I am. Uh. So ma. Well, it's I so nada ga. Even if that was the was the actual fact. Um. Uh, my servant, in such an outfit, I'm worried. Where did the word even come from? Mo. No. Uh. uh not uh, where is it? I don't think there's a mo in here. Ah, yeah, so, no so, mo. So it says, oh, in reality, that is true, right? So, right. Right. So, right. In reality, that is true, right? So, right. Daga. so this, ne? as in the so referring to he actually is a kosodoro no furoji. So the reality mm -hmm. matches what he looks like when you look at him. He, In other words, he is exactly what he looks like. However, if he's my, since he's now my servant, I'm a little bit troubled if he continues to look the way he is. Hi, Komaru. No mi ya shirami o, shirami o mo takatte i soda. I soda. Hi, from Iru. Iru. Right, stem form. Isoda, Isoda. It seems that um, taka, takatte. What do you think this flees and leases would be doing? Uh, it's gathered. It's oh, so. It flocked to. Yeah, it seems like there'd be some lease and fleece flocked on him, right? Flocked on his clothes, flocked on his hair, that kind of idea. No me flees, shirami lies. Hi. So flee and lies flock, it seems. Um, doka o shikoshi at a a ka. Close ta. Ta. Katae ka tae ata atae ataete atarashi fuku to shirami to shirami tori no kushio kai ni 
一卡西哟，呃 ，Let's， 呃、uh, ，I will let him go by， 呃、uh, ，a comb to take out lies， a new， a new， 呃、uh, ，a comb to take out lies and a new outfit。Mm, um, I'll give him a little bit of money.、Uh, what does、so、the yo part here mean? I will. I、yeah. shall. I shall. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to make him go buy that comb. Right. Jime, jime, she. Actually, I think this is actually where we left off. Right. Did not read jime, jime yet. Which you might remember what "dime dime" means, because that is a sound effect we have seen before. Do you remember what "dime dime" means? So this context was "dime dime shite de nama gu kusari kusari." Kusai. So from kusai <laughs> spells stinky, and nama kusai. is like a raw smell.、Um, this is、oh. referring to the insides of a tonneru nakawa kuroku. Dime dime stete, nama gusai. Stete. So it, it, I think it's a dark and murky. Yes, um, dark, dark is kurai, but dime dime sadly is not dark. Dime dime is damp. Damp. Dime dime. Like you, it's kind of like the sound when like you're touching something wet and it kind of makes that kind of that crackly noise. Dime dime dime. Um, do you know how to read this word? Ten ki. Hi. So the the ten meaning heavens, ki meaning the aura, things like that, or air. Ten ki refers to the weather. Hi. So it ends with ki. What did it start with? Ten. Perfect. Um, let's go read this line. Ten ki wa chime chime shita. It means. Um, the weather is damp. Yep, damp, damp, damp weather. So that would kind of insinuate like kind of foggy. I would assume kind of mildewy. Do you remember how to read this word? Hi. <laughs> um. Fu, fu, as in that can mean fu. You are a hundred percent correct. On its own, it can be read as fu, which means manner. This is the reading for wind I'm looking for, but there's no context, so fu is one hundred percent correct. Normally, we'd add e ni afterwards for that. But here、Hi. I'm looking for more like ga. So this is、um, uh, a single reading, right, Mani? Hi. Um, two、uh, and this one are both single readings. It's just difference in meaning. Kaze. Yep, kaze. Ka. Ze means wind. So a word with the exact same reading as wind and also shares that first kanji, kaze. When you have the second kanji here, this means cold, as in a cold, an illness, the flu, kaze. And in Japanese, you hiku kaze. You don't catch a cold; you pull a code, cold. Can you read this line? I mean, how do you put this into te form? Uh, kaze o. He de he he. Perfect. He de he de. Hi.、Right, let's go read this example sentence. Hi. Um. Iya na, tenki no se de. Ah. Kaze o hi hi ta. Hi ta. So um. Because of bad weather. I caught. A cold. Perfect. Um. Remember this kanji. Uh, warai, warai, warui.、Mm, hai, warui. So a way to say nasty in Japanese is tachi no warui, tachi no warui, which is still、oh. an e adjective. How would you say um caught a cold, but like adding shimao or no to it? So we need te form plus shimao. So kaze o hite shimao. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Jime jime shita iya na tenki da. It was damp, 
bad weather. Tachi no worry. Kaze o ite shimatta rashi. It seems that I have caught a bad cold. Hi. And is how does he feel about it? He regretted. He yeah. shimao. He, he, he's sad about it. He's like, darn it. How did I catch so, this cold? So now we have finished reading chapter four. So now we're on chapter five. Yay. So now we're back to Khan. Do you happen to know what a nezumi is? Normally written in um, katakana. Nezumi, I think, is a mouse. It is a mouse or a rat. The word itself does not insinuate one or the other. So a, um, you, you'd you um, modify it with something to be specific. Do you know what a gesuiko is? Gesuiko. The water under coal here seems to have the water character. So it has something to do with water. It does. You'll also, and it's on its own because it's pronounced as miso. 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 Which means um ditch or a ditch. A ah. So it means it's a ditch of water. It's a, it's a, like an irrigation? Like yeah, an ir this is like a sewer. Yep, Gesui coal is a sewer. Gesui coal. So this coal from Gesui coal shows up in the word dobu nezumi. So another way to read this kanji, dobu nezumi. So a dobu nezumi would be a rat that prob you'd probably find in a sewer. Specifically, this is just used for any kind of rat. And the, the sewerness is used to let you know it's a rat, not a mouse, specifically. Versus if you want to say a mouse, you would say something else like hatto nezumi or something. I don't know. Um, Hi. Yeah. Dobu nezumi. Sewer rat. I don't know. Let's go read this example sentence. Hi. So, uh, ore wa dobu nezumi o. So, dobu, dobu nezumi yori fuk, fuku. Not fuku. Uh, fu, hara, 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 pek, pekoda. So here it say that I am hungrier than a mouse. Perfect. Or a, a rat, or a, yeah, specifically. To a, mouse, to a rat. Since we have the dobu, we know it's a, uh, sorry. It's supposed to be dobu, uh, but Instead, it says Bune. Mm -hmm. oh, it, oh, it says a dobu. It is dobu, Mani. Uh, my line wasn't high enough. I was confused. I was dobu. like, where is it a taboo? I like, oh, yep, dobu nezumi. So that's how we know it is a rat and not a mouse. Our next ah. word is au. With this specific kanji, so not to meet, um, this au can be used to mean to mix together. Um, or like to do mutually. Like for example, we've seen nirami ao means to glare at each other. Kind of has a that kind of meaning. Um, how do you read this kanji? Ao. Uh, Perfect. And what is the causative form of ao? Causative. A e. Causative. A eru. So a e du is potential form ah, which means ah. can can match ah, se, ru. Hi, ah, se, ru. so we added ah then we do se and ru so do you remember there was that special rule that had to do with u if there's no um consonant don't we like do something to this ah so it's yes. not ah se, ru. that's a little bit hard to say what do we what do we do instead is wa so awa perfect awa said it to make um something match to make something go together so awa said is different enough from the causative form on itself that it does have its own spot in the dictionary to mean to make something into one thing to basically to forcefully 
group them together basically like this this is all one thing you group them together there awaseru awaseru to group together do you remember how to read this word koro neko no to scatter that's a good guess that is the kie usuru part here this right here is a mure Mure is a flock of cats. Yes, it is a flock of cats. Mure no. Right. So let's go read the sentence. Dobu nezumi no nure? Mure, mure no o awaseta. I let or let no um let or cause so let the flock of mice uh separate them like opposite group group them group like let's group let's allow the groups of mice yeah. to be um grouped i guess However, I just told you that awasadu kind of has its own meaning rather than necessarily just being the causative form. Do you remember what that was? Mm, um, wait, I don't remember, Mom. Yeah, It was to make into one. So you're taking this whole group of nezumis and you're basically, you're thinking about it as one entity. Almost like it has a hive mind. You're like, so the group of the group the 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 gang of rats they are all black or something like you just you group them all together into like a group you're just like you don't have to physically move them together it's just you you basically you're quantifying them as if they were one creature basically hi awaseta to make one hi or to perceive as one that's a better way to perceive as one is probably a good way of thinking about it um, can you read the bolded part for me? Mega sameta to wake up. Perfect. Mega Saw that earlier day in Percy Jackson. Can you read I this for me? So, futsuka, futsuka me no asa. Right. The morning of the second day. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Utsume no kasa wa dobu nezumi no mure o awase ni yori mo harapeko de me ga sameta. Can you read three days for me again? Mit. Mikatsu, Mika, 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 me, Mika, me, no, atawa. On the third day, I uh, mega sameta. On the third day, I was hungrier than I was hungrier than even. I was even hungrier than that of a flock or of a a yeah I would I would say a flock of mice. Yeah. The awaseta really probably wouldn't be used in English here. It's just I'm hungrier than a flock of ice. But the thing is here, they're just specifying that every single one of those mice, you take all their hunger, put that all together. I'm hungrier than that. Right? <laughs> So it just makes it more specific there of that. This has one entity of hunger than saying Hi. I'm hungrier than everybody in the flock. It's more like adding those all together. Right. All together. I'm hungrier than the whole bunch of mice. Exactly. That all I was mice together from a flock. And then I woke up. When I woke up for for character. Um just this one. The this is not meant to be bolded. You want to read that? Uh, ka, ka, Good guess. 
So this does show, show up in the word for dinosaur, which is kyoryu, kyoryu, but this is pronounced as oso, osore, osore. Aru. Do you know what osore means? To be angry. Good guess. That's okoru. Okoru. Here's the okoru kanji. Both of them do have a kokoro in the bottom, but they're a little bit different on the top. So angry is kokoru. Okoru. Okoru. This so, one is also de. Also de. Um, theoretically, um, in this context, if you wanted okoru to be a noun, it'd be ikari. Ikari, which uses the same kanji. Ikari. So right here, it's also de, the noun, right? Also de mo na aru. Um, but also is just, this is read both ways, but I just want to say, we could say ikari mo aru would be how we could replace osore in the sentence to mean there's also anger. Because you wouldn't say okoru mo aru, because that's not grammatically correct, because that's a verb versus a noun. So okoru here is to be angry, and osoru is to be scared. Be scared. So what I always say is that the scariest dragon is the one that exists, right? A dinosaur. Do you know how to read this word? What does this mean? Do you know how to read this word? Do you know how to read this word? Kind of. You're both wrong and incorrect with that statement. You're thinking about, I think, suku. Su, like tobacco su, with this kanji. Um, but and it is related in a way to that. Fuku is the opposite of su. It's to breathe out. Right? To blow. Fuku, to blow. So the kaze blows in a nukeru kind of way. Nukeru. Violet. Good guess. That was um ara. Nukeru means to go through, right? To like the exit out of a house. So with a fukeru, uh, fuki nukeru kaze, that's kind of like when old people say, oh, my poor bones, the wind blows right through me. That's fuki nukeru. The, it, it basically it penetrates deep into your bones kind of idea. It's a very cold kind of wind normally. Blow through. The wind blows through. Fuki koma. To blow into. Yes, to blow into. Perfect. And this word has that same first kanji we saw earlier. Any idea how to read this e adjective? Osoroshi. Hi. Scary. Yes, scary. Perfect. Osoroshi. Terrifying. What is the te form of the e adjective osoroshi? Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Yane ura beya no madokara buki konde kuru fuwa no kazewa. Osoroshiku Sumetai From the window of the attic blows in the winds that blows in is scarily cold, right. terribly cold. Basically. That one is better for English. Yep, terribly cold. Perfect. Um. Um. How to read this word? 
くし。Perfect. し、こん。こん。So, つたう means to follow, but not like to follow, like follow the leader or to follow with their hand, like kind of with their hand. But つたう basically kind of means to follow like a path. Follow a path. つたう。So this country not right to here, follow a recipe, right, Mani? Or not to follow instruction, but to follow. I would use a different country for to follow um instructions, but this country is used for the word that means to follow traditions. Those are um chitawareta, I believe. It's it uses the, it's the same country. I might have said the word wrong. Um, but that chita here can be used to follow um that so theoretically it probably could be used um not this specific verb to but the kanji itself could be used for following a recipe but i don't think you would normally do that use this you would probably use something else for that but it is it can be used for following traditions like i said but um here it's more like a physical path i would say in the pacific context that we're going to be seeing it hi tsitao, tsitao, tsitao. Okay, and what's the top form Top form. Suta. Suta. Yeah, suta. Um, right here, our main goal is these two words. Uh, dan ro no mai de mofu ni kuru mari. Right from kuru maru. Um, it says that. Uh, I curl up. I curl up in the blanket in front of the fireplace. Perfect. Can you read this line for me? Me shi sky wa hachi go o sutata. I follow the Stairs, the ladder, or she go. Uh, the, the servant follows the ladder. Right. So here the idea is that he's going down the ladder or, or going up it, depending on the context. He just, he right. follows the path of the ladder, which in English, it could mean either. It could mean someone carries the ladder away and you're following them, or it means you're following the direction of the ladder, right? Has both possible meanings, but in Japanese, that's specifically not the follow the leader follow. Um, so yeah, we got the three shita kanjis pronounced slightly different. What does each one mean? What? Mm, okay, so first is oriru, meaning to go down. Oriru. Okay. Second is agaru, meaning to give down. No, sagaru. Hi. To retreat. Yep. Third is sorosu. Oh, so this is o, orosu. Orosu. And that means to take down. Yeah, to take down, to put down. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. And to give down is actually atairu. Hi, to, to give from a uh, metaphorical opposition. Hi, so here is ano. Ana. A, ana. Ana no aita mofu ni kuru mata mama. Hashigo o sutatte shita ni. Orita. Kurumata. I curl up in the blanket. What does mama mean? I remain. Hi. I remain curl up in the blanket that was. Aita is open. The open of the hole? Yeah, it is a weird thing they're saying there. I didn't really think about what exactly that was meaning there. The I don't know. I so, would say it's saying he 
has a opening so he's not he's not he's curled up in the muffin but he has a hole for him to stick out is my guess but I, i'm actually not fully sure or not because they're because i think they're just saying cause otherwise he could have been like fairly cur- curled up and like crawling like this right underneath the blanket so i think this makes it more obvious that that didn't happen well you're right that that is a little bit confusing i should google that if i think about it 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 but it's something along the line of it has an opening Hi. that looks like an, an opening to a cave or an opening to a, a, a hole. A... Yeah. To form and a then <clears throat> in that state, Mama, in that state, he <laughs> he still had the blanket. Hi. <laughs> he uh hashigo o sutate. He go he go down the the ladder. Uh, shita ni orita. Really, that's that's all it. I just go down the other. I, he go down I the ladder. I follow la- the ladder and go down and descend. In English, you just would say we go down the ladder, but it's kind of say like he's wrapped up in the blanket. He he's not really like looking where he's going, so he has to follow the ladder in order to get down. Right. <laughs> Wonder how he wraps the blanket around him. So, so. Maybe he just wraps it around his body, like um, like how you would, uh, like like a cape almost. Probably, it's probably just his head sticking out of the little hole right there from his round up thingy. Hi. He, he he probably looks like Hal from House of Castle after he like has a bad hair day. <laughs> it does. Hi. Uh, die, re. Shiki. Good guess. This is Seki. Seki. Dairi Seki is marble. Ah, Dairi Seki. So normally I wouldn't say this is a word you have to learn, but the kanji is too easy. Dairi Seki. Dairi Seki. Meaning marble. random though. The rock of big reasoning. Uh, I guess marble is what Greek art is made out of. I actually know the meaning of this. If you don't mind. Uh... Hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, marble daidi seki. So the word here is ri. Uh, and ri is the on 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 marble rocks. There are these natural um. Curve like there are these natural curvature on the surface of the marble. The, it, how how do I say it? Like, if you look at the marble surface, when they cut it. It had these natural, like you know how there's uh, like you cut wood and the wood have these nat- natural, yeah. uh, how do you call it? The um, swirls, the squirrel or the wave, right? Like how right. they like pe- people like uh the the wood that have these good, uh, patterns on it. Hi hi hi. You can think of it as as a pa- as a natural pattern in in the rock. So, the the ancient. The ancient kanji maker they they considered those natural pattern to be uh, logical, so it oh. it takes on the second meaning of being logic. Like for them, nature is logical. So so the first meaning was the curvature in the rock, and the second meaning was the natural like the the logic of of nature. Hi hi hi. So, hi. Yeah, makes sense. Hi. Right. So okay. let's go read the example sentence. Well, now you always will know where what Marvel is then. <laughs> Hi. Maybe you can search up a picture of it. And you know what I? Exactly... I know what Marvel looks like. It's I, yeah. I know. Especially... I, I'm not that uncultured. <laughs> no, but I mean in 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 a- in Asia it means something else. When so they talk cool. about marble, I think they specifically they mean jades, which is that green marbles. And when you I'm look not sure at if jade's that popular in Japanese, but yeah, not, definitely but, big in. But China. I know the kanji came from, kanji came from China, so I don't know what kind of rocks they mm. had back. Then. Probably is jade, um, or it could be something else. I don't know, but uh, so this is dai ri seki no. Um, the word for stair is uh kaidan kaidan wa. Uh, mizu no yo ni tsumetai. Tsumetai. So the stairs of 
marbles. Uh, it's cold like ice. Oh, it's not. It's not mizu. It's cold. Ice. ice. Cold like ice. Cold. Yeah, cold like ice. Yoni. Yoni and not soni. Hi, money. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I was I didn't hear questions. <laughs> so yeah, cool. Oh, sorry. Like, hi. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I say, I say yoni and not soni, right? Yes, it's yoni. Yoni. The like word, as in cold. looks like, seems like. Uh, specifically, yoni is for the phys the attributes rather than the physical appearance of an object. Hi, it's not mitai here. It's yoni. Wakata. So what does the sentence mean? Uh, sorry. Uh, the sentence means um, it's cold. The, Hi. the stair of marble is cold as ice. Perfect. Cold as ice. Perfect. So kawaru is a word you already know which means to change. But a second meaning of kawaru is to be different. So they're using the word kawaru in the next sentence to mean to be different, which is, of course, a uber. What is the negative form of kawaru? Kawaranai. I think. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's go read this example sentence. Hi. Um, koso doro ni hotte. Uh, Kino yuka wa dairi seki no kaidan to kawaranai. Not different. Right. Um, that sneaky thief, the sneaky thief, totte as as a sneaky thief, ni totte. Mm. Right? Toste is what you're thinking about. Okay, toshite. But this is not toshite. This is totte. Right. So, what is it? It's quoting, it's quoting te and then the to? It's probably related to that, but um, totte, I think, actually comes from toru, but it means for, right? I like, take. For, for this thief, basically. Like, for me. For this sneaky but thief. You think this is the te form of toru? I don't know. I could see there's kanji. So here it's saying for that that sneaky thief that the wooden floor is not the same as the marble uh, stairs. Hi. Uh... So kawaru means to be different. So to, yeah, to not be different. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't know what I heard you say. But yeah, not totte does have the same kanji from toru to take. So basically it means taking from the position of a sneaky thief, a wooden floor and a marble staircase isn't different at all. Hey. Those things are probably things he doesn't want to steal. <laughs> um, very <laughs> random. Um, so... Let's go read this line. Hi. So, Dairi Teki no Kaidan wa Hadashi no Ashini wa Hadashi Bear. Been a while since we saw it. Yep. Perfect. Hadashi no Ashini wa Korito Kawaranai. As for the marble stairs, it is not different than ice for a bare foot. Hi. For my bare feet, the marble staircase is not different than ice. So it's very, very cold. Not different than ice. Um, can you read this phrase for me? Uh, karada ga gatta gatta to. This is to shake. 
soul. It is a sicking sound effect. It's a rattling it's, sound effect. Uh, the kanji pronunciation for shaking is fuedasu. Close. It does have the fu, but it's ru. Furue dasu. Furue ru. Furue dasu. Furu. So, my body shiver. Yep. Shiver my as. body starts to shake. Gata. Right. So, gata gata is like a clattering sound, like the sound of your teeth um, knocking into each other. That's how cold you are. Hi. Um, what does shagande mean? That's from shagamu. Shagande muko. Shagan. To kneel down. Yeah, specifically it's to crouch. To crouch. And how about tadori tsuku? Tadori tsuku. It's a sono tori basho made. Tadori tsuku. Tsuku is to attach. That's tadori... a good guess. Um, I mean, it is. But um, it's it's kind of its own verb. I'm not. I don't think it has the attached kanji. Yeah, it has the arrival kanji. Arrival. I see. So what does this mean? It's mean that tadori is. Hmm. I'm stuck. Tadori, Tadori tsuku kind of means final destination. Like it doesn't have to be your total final, but the idea is that, um, okay, we finally reached here. Whew. We reached this location. So that's what the made works. So with the made, Tadori tsuki is a really good um, link with it because they kind of match meaning there. So it's like, I, I arrived up until... The doriba, the the stairs landing. Tadori. Um, Tadori. So it's the to arrive, just like tuku means to arrive, but just has a little extra of that's the current latest destination. So once you arrive here, you have to make up a new destination, basically, rather than being like necessarily like oh I arrived at the park and then I went somewhere else. I feel like it, the idea is that this is like to some amount. This is a like slight goal. Kind of like you're going to pause here for a second. There's a, I there's see. a little bit of the insinuation. Why you'd use tadoi tuku rather than just tuku. So here, he once he arrives here, he's going to peek over to check if it's safe before moving on. So that's why he has to pause at the doriba. Um, do you want me to read this word? I hi. Hi. Ikai. Perfect with that. Nice glottal stop. And how do you read this kanji again? Buru, buru. Buru e nagara. Hi, buru, buru, furu e nagara. So, buru, buru is just like the English word burr. Burr. So, shaking while saying burr, basically. Hi. So, let's go read the sentence from the book. Ni kai ni. Tadori tsuku koro ni wa Parada ga sumekite Sume? Sum? No. You're thinking about the iachite tsumetai. This is the it's verb. Hi, hi e kite. Hi e kite. Gata, gata to. Furu eta ita. On the second floor. Koro is about. Hi. About. Tadori tsuku. Niwa. So. Uh, roughly about the final. Probably Destiny. about right when I arrived where? Right when I arrived at the final checkpoint. <laughs> Which is the second stair. The second on floor. The stair. 
on the second floor. Right when I arrive at the checkpoint on the second floor, my body, uh, here, kite. So here, and then kuru. Uh, this kite is from kiru to ka. Kiru. Ah, completely. Hi. Completely be cold. Became completely cold. Hi. And I shiver. So I've got that's a very aggressive shivering. My teeth are clattering. But once I arrived at the second floor. I see. Do you know what tokoro means? A place. A yeah. tokoro. Um, so this kanji, of course, is read how? Tokoro. Perfect. Same as a basho. So, so. Um, tokoro focuses a little bit more on time than basho, but not by a lot. Um, you don't need that kanji. Um, do you know what tokoro datta means? When we add this datta. At that time. Kind of. At the time when I kieru. Yes. Right when I kieru. Right before you kieru. Right before you kieru. So when you have datta with tokoro, it doesn't mean what you think it would. It means right before. So right before you reach that moment. So this specific sentence is right before they finished eating food. You finished eating their pie. But when we first saw it was right before I completely disappeared. If we didn't fully disappear, then we would have been dead. So it was right before that happened. How do you think you read this word? Dai shou. That's a really good guess. It is not shou. This is the um, friends with benefits. Dai dokoro. Hi, dai dokoro. Perfect. The dai dokoro is a way to say kitchen. To some extent, this word is like falling out of fashion. So you'll hear a lot of times in Japanese the word kitchen, right? English word kitchen. <laughs> Um, but dai dokoro also means kitchen. So you'll probably see both randomly used for things. So this book uses dai dokoro and not kitchen. So probably kitchen would insinuate a more modern kitchen, while a dai dokoro will probably insinuate an older kitchen, <laughs> more old fashioned and in like with the other things here. So this Hi. word starts with, uh, ends with dokoro. What did it start with? Dai dokoro. Hi. Perfect. So let's go read this example sentence. Quick question, Wani. Hi. Have you, in your reading, have you came across a lot of kanji where they write in kanji, but the furigana on top is actually some sort of an English sounding uh, katakana? That is relatively common. It depends on the kind of book. Like if you're talking about like Harry Potter, that is like on every single page. The whoever decided to translate it put like, very like minimal effort for names of things. It just went okay. The Grimu is a death god, so you just want da death dog, and then want Grimu, and they're like, okay, hey, we're just using the English word. So they went crazy with that. But that is also common in like other things, like My Hero Academia, as an easy example. Orumaito, right? Hey, that has kanji so in Japanese. That so meant, I don't remember what. So the kanji can now actually be pronounced as something other than its old reading. It can be pronounced to as a certain extent. Another, for example, in a different book I saw, I saw the word koko. Uh, sorry, it wasn't koto. It was kai, which um is not is this kai right here, which means magical spirits. And then above it was the kanji ore. This means that this character. Um, is said probably the word a certain word which was ore I, but he's referring to all creatures like him, the monsters. So he says monsters like I. So this is a very common thing in Japanese to um get a kanji, put something on top to insinuate a second meaning. Um, but specifically the thing they're saying is the thing on top, and the kanji is there for extra meaning. So. Um, if you say, um, um, shin, shin, gen, shin, man, man, gen, and shin. So if you say this word right here, it's not going to be in the con, the dictionary is not going to have a gurimu as the Harry Potter example. 
And in Harry Potter, once they say Grimu once, you're never going to see that kanji again. It's I always going to be the katakana reading afterwards. So the only time you see that special new reading with kanji is when the new vocab word is being introduced in the book. And then they're just going to keep like this. So every time the word kai shows in the book, it's not going to be ore. It's only that it's telling you know the extra meaning in the specific sentence. I see. Um, it's like he's saying, I, us spirits, or I guess monsters. Um, so I... same with Orumaito from My Hair Academia. Whenever you see All Maito, that, that name, it's always going to be in katakana, except for in like one Pacific manga where they gave you a special name, which meant like super powerful, like free spirit or something. I don't remember what it was. It was too long ago when I read it. Um, Hi. Where basically it's went, what did this name mean to All Might when he picked it out, basically? It was a pillar of strength or something. Pillar of strength. That is so cool. <laughs> it's a Sorry, built did you say that again? That my headphones is very bad. Uh, I was like, I, oh, I, it's been quiet for a second, but I vaguely heard a quiet noise and I was like, ah. <laughs> it's a good thing i i said it, it that's so cool it's a built-in annotation system i know it's definitely the coolest thing about japanese but it makes it probably so hard to translate like they're like do we do furigana in english when this happens Hi. but it, it's definitely a very fun thing so this book doesn't really do that very often because this book decided to go into the 100 percent translation route so anything in the book that was like a special word for the book they just went there's a Japanese word I can use instead, um, which makes it a fun thing to compare as translations for things. Like, let's say, like, Tasogara da Gai, right? The Twilight District. Tasugare. If this was Harry Potter, it would said um, Twilight Gai, right? They, 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 they would have did that. And the first time the word Twilight would have showed up, they would have had the kanji for Tasogare. So that's like a different Hi. translator. So that's why I like this book so much better than Harry Potter because I prefer seeing so much Japanese better. words than 20,000 katakana words for no reason. Um, but Harry Potter does that because it's very obviously set in England and they wanted, I think, to make it feel like it's set in England still in Japanese. Versus this book, I feel like when reading it, it doesn't have a super like, this is obviously set in this location like feel to it. Hi. It's set in a fantasy world, right? Where yeah. all this make-believe places versus King's Cross is an actual location. So that's probably the main differences there. But yeah, I prefer it when they go good, really fun with their translations. Very um, interesting. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go read this sentence. Dai, dai, dokoro ni wa benetto ga ita. So, Bennett is at the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. It's um, in the kitchen. Takigi means firewood. Some kindling. Wood you throw in a fire. So, let's go read this line from the book. Ni kai no dai tokoro de wa Bennett ga okina Danro de Takigi ni Hio Suke yo toshteru Tokoro datta. Right. Any guesses what Hio Tukeru means? Takigi ni Hio Tukeru. So Tsuke here is attached to the flame. Hai. So here we are adding logs to the flame. Exactly. Perfect. Feeding it. To make a fire using logs. The heel to get is one of those many ways that basically mean to make a flame. To make a flame that you can attach to something and you attach the okay. fire wood to it. And here they modify with yo toshiteru. Hi. I try to. Yes. So perhaps he's not doing super good with his flame making right now. Hi. And the person who's doing it is Benetto. Hi. Benetto, Okina Dandro de, at the large fireplace, he's trying to feed the flame on the second floor of the kitchen. Tokoro datta, right when he was trying to do so. Right. So I would assume that there's no fire in the fireplace. 
because of the o t o s u r u How would you attempt to throw a, fa- a piece of wood? Like, you'd have to be like a magical spell blocking the wood from entry to fire or something. So, here he's trying to make a flame using the firewood, but it's not going very well. The house is very, very cold. Main character is like shivering in his little blanket, being like, Where's the fire? And Bennett is like trying, but Bennett's not succeeding right at this moment. Why do you think the sentence e n d with Tokoro Data, m o n i What does that insinuate? It lets you know that b e n e t t e has not finished attempting to make the fire place. I see. It hasn't reached the conclusion yet. It just. Right. Or. Exactly. Tokoro. So if it w- didn't have Tokoro Data, that means he tried and failed. And now he's like standing there, like staring at the fireplace, being like, huh, what should I do now? But the Tokoro t h e n is now, he's right now attempting to make a fire. He hasn't succeeded yet, but he's also not done trying. He's still trying to make the fire. Perhaps he stuck the wood in there and the flame maker kit is right next to it or something. There's no fire, but、um, he's attempting to make it. So the fire being tried completeness action has not occurred yet. Hi. So, yeah.、Okay. That's... okay, we got these three words. Let's go through our lookings. What are the three lookings here?、Uh, the three s are nozoku, 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 to peak. Nozoku is to peak. Nagameru. Nagameru is to look around. Close. It's to gaze at. To gaze. Nagameru, to gaze. A neutral kind of look.、Right. And niramu is to stare.、Mm, that's mits- mitsumeru. Niramu is to glare. Hi, to glare. Perfect. So you're sh- probably going to see some glaring soon since Bennett was mentioned. Do you know what soba meant? Not noodles. Soba, soba is the side of an object. Hi. Perfect. So I have two objects that are not the same object, type of object. Do you know how to read this? Yuki saseta. Good guess.、Um, it's not Yuki. I think you do know what it is, but Yuki means snow. Yubi saseta. Yubi. Hi, hi, hi. To point.、Um, what does Nirami tsukeru mean? Nirami tsukete. Oreo. Nirami tsukete ita. Otoko wa ore o nirami tsukete ita. Ah. Wait, I I shook my head? Why would I use I shook my head with o? I don't think you can do that in Japanese. Ah, dai ude o kumi. Otoko wa no sori to kaida no agate kite. 太い腕を組み、俺をにらみつけていった。こいつですか低いダミコイだ。He crosses his arms and he, gr- he grumble? No. What did he do? What did he do to me? He, he asked me a question? So, ita means to say, and you would never modify ita with anything.、Um, if you wanted to say grumble, you'd use the verb grumble. Or if you wanted to say mumble, you'd use the word bumble. So, ita just means to say. And then it's described later how he said it, which is in a low voice. So, these two actions are relatively unrelated, except for the fact they're both occurring at the same time. He is saying this as he niramus at the main character. So, tukeru adds at to the sentence. He niramus at ore. He, he glares just, at. Yes, it's glaring. Glaring is a very hard word for you. <laughs> Nirami tsukete. Right, to attach the glare. So, let's go read the line from the book. This will be our last line of the day. Hai. Dai dokoro ni. いる
と、の、入ると、ベネットが、俺を、ギゾリと、にらみ、階段の、そばの、バケン、ソ、バスケン、バケツバケツツ ?I think it's ツツツツはい。Is it? ツ ?I'm not sure. So only has one line in it. So はい。So バケツを指させた。はい。ギロリ。ギロリと。He goes He goes into the kitchen, or I go into to the no, I, he kitchen. I is a better way of translating.、Um, just has to do with like, the context here.、Uh, so, right when I enter the kitchen, Benetto does something. Right when I enter the kitchen, Benet, he girori to nirami. So we say that nirami was the stare, right, Mani? What kind of stare? He glares, he glares,、Hai. but what way did he glare? Giro, giro t- that just gir- means he glared too. He's got double glaring.、Um, Girori is kind of like D in a way. It's like a, it's a glare. I just thought glaring on its own is too boring. So we added Girori. Girori to nirami. He glares at me. And he, the, he points his finger at the basket that is on the side of the, the stairway. Hi.、Um, bucket does sound a lot like the word basket. So that is a super good guess. But this is a bucket.、Mm, bucket. Bucket. Bu- bucket. 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 Right, so he's probably going to say, Get some water, fill up the bucket. Or maybe the water has bucket. Earlier we had a tarai, but now it's a bucket. Hi. Hi.、Um, Money.、So, hi. Is Han about 12 years old?